They actually beat sticks together and chanted for two straight nights. And then they got deathly silent that night. And I knew they were coming. It was just a matter of time. A lot of grenades came in, but one came right next to me and Johnson jumped on it and covered it and saved my life. When a grenade comes in, you either grab it and throw it, you jump on it, or you run. That's all you got chances to do. And sometimes all you can do is jump on it and try to save somebody else. And I think that's what he did. Ralph was born in the city of Charleston. As a little boy, we would go to the Lincoln Theater. And we came out of the Lincoln, and Ralph saw three Marines. And he pulled my hand. He says, you know what? He said, one day I'm going to wear that uniform. Ralph, last night, before going to Vietnam, was spent with me. And we sit up and talk until 3 o'clock in the morning. And the next morning, we both overslept. And it bothers me because I think maybe if he had not wake up and missed that flight, maybe he would have still been here. But it was his will and it was God's will. That day, it always will be in, in my mind and body and also uh, spirit. And every day I look into the mirror, I have scar right here. I have metal in my uh, leg. But every time I look in the mirror, I think about Ralph Johnson giving his life so that I may live another day. And, and I thank Ralph. And I try, by thanking Ralph, I try to uh, live a better life. Oh man, what does sacrifice mean to me? Well, it's life for me, because if he hadn't done it, we wouldn't be having this conversation. So he gave me my life. So I guess I've dedicated my life to trying to go to high schools and football teams and colleges and all over the world, and Marine bases, Army bases, Air Force bases. And I just thank young people for giving what it takes for our freedom and our way of life. And, and I owe him my life. Medal of Honor is the highest medal you can receive. And to me, Ralph had deserved that because he was such a giving person. When you give your life in the way that he did, I mean, what more could you ask? He's always on my mind. And so I talk about him a lot and, and uh, I'm glad that a ship's going to be named after him and a hospital's been named after him, a street's been named after him. He deserves it. was like this. If he see you in need, he wasn't going to help you partially. He was going to give you his all in all. I'm General Jim Livingston. Our Navy, our nation honors one of our own in the naming its newest destroyer, the USS Ralph Johnson, named for a young Marine who did not hesitate to give his own life to save the lives of his fellow Marines. I hope you will support the Commission Committee's effort to execute a ship's commissioning ceremony worthy of this young man's sacrifice. Please join us in spreading the word and by giving as you see fit, which can be done by visiting the committee's website. Thank you.